Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. Week one, I haven't been keeping up to date with taking off the post-it notes, but week one of 75 soft is I guess theoretically complete. It is Sunday, it's 10.40 a.m. But after today, week one will be done. So I'm just gonna take it down now. I'm not gonna lie, it hasn't actually been a very good week at all. Um, I only went to the gym once. I did a home workout. I missed out working out on some days. Some days I didn't hit three liters of water. Like it hasn't been as good as I was hoping it would be. But that is okay because next week is a new week and the rules of like 75 hard is you're meant to restart if you like don't complete a day. I'm not doing that though. Like I actually don't want to do that. But good morning guys. I hope that you are all well. Today's going to be a pretty chill day. I'm not going to lie. We're going to go out on a nice long walk. So we have some lakes near my house that we normally walk around. And um, we normally just walk around like the one big lake in the middle. But there are a couple of like smaller lakes around the side. So I think we're going to go around our normal route. And then like veer off around some little lakes. And then come back onto our normal route. So it's going to be a long old walk. But I'm definitely looking forward to it. Get out, so get some fresh air. And then we have booked to go to the cinema this evening. We're going to go watch Anyone But You. It's like a new rom-com that's out. And everyone is literally like buzzing about it. So we're going to go watch that. Probably get a pick and mix because Aiden loves pick and mix. Although we will probably get it from Tesco whilst on our walk because it's expensive at the cinema. But yeah, apart from that, that's all I've got to say. Yesterday, I had a TikTok shop order. I've never ordered from TikTok shop before. And I got this light and it's actually like, it's crazy how bright it is. Like, I can't even look at it without literally being blinded. So if you ever see someone posting about this light, you definitely need to get it if you're into like creating content. But yeah, I haven't actually got anything else to say. I'm gonna go get ready for our walk. I think it's freezing outside. We're actually meant to be getting snow tomorrow, which is gonna be kind of exciting. I'm really excited for there to be a bit of snow, but it's already changed from 7 and 8 a.m. to just 8 a.m. and it only says 25% now, so I don't have high hopes. TikTok shop buy number two was actually this activewear jacket. Now, I don't know if this is necessarily the best quality. I mean, it definitely isn't. But I just thought it was kind of cute and it was super duper cheap and I got it in a size small and it's still a little bit baggy. I wanted it to be like super duper tight, but it definitely does its job. So I think I'm gonna wear this out on our walk and then put on my long coat because I know that I'm gonna get hot on the walk, but also it's cold. Maybe I should put on a hoodie. I don't know, am I gonna get cold? I think I'll be okay. <laughs> as long of a walk as we wanted because my it knee over an hour. yeah it took us over an hour because my knee was so painful um so i had to cut the walk a little bit short but then we went to tesco we grabbed our sweets for this evening and i also picked up some vegan fake chicken teriyaki what are you called geyser okay. and ada's got some miso soup over there and obviously having some of these but we actually had it was quite an awkward experience wasn't it yeah so basically we went to go fill up our tires with air and Aiden was filling them up with air on like one side of the car. And then I was like more in the road at the petrol station, taking off all of the caps from the tires. And this like older guy, like he must've been like, he must've been like his mid fifties. Yeah. And he basically like rolled down his window and told me I was very beautiful. And I was like, oh, thanks. And then like awkwardly looked over the bonnet to Aiden. He then like lifted his head up and the guy obviously didn't know that my boyfriend was there and he was like oh sorry mate i just had to say and i was just like <laughs> like i look pretty young do you know what i mean like that's the thing that's like mostly giving me the ick about it like i look pretty young without makeup so yeah and the fact that he then apologized to aiden was like and i'm happy aiden was there because aiden doesn't have any sisters so he never like has witnessed cat it wasn't really cat calling but you know what i mean like girls being spoken to on the street. So I'm glad that you finally got to witness that, Aiden. 
Mmm. Good. Interesting. Tastes a bit like grass. Just got to change into my comfies to go to the cinema. We've just had a really early dinner as well because we didn't want to wait until after we get back from the cinema. Otherwise, it would just be way too late and we're going to eat a lot of sweets in the cinema. But guys, my neck, I don't know what's happened, but I like leant down and now my whole neck has like seized up. Basically, like I can still move it, so I don't want to say it's seized up, but it's like a caught nerve or something, a trapped nerve, I don't know what. And Aiden's been laughing at me. She was crying. I cried. Because she's got a trapped nerve. It was really scary. And I still have it, which isn't great. Do you know where my bag is? No. The one that I took out earlier. I think, did I leave my water bottle in the car, do you know? Uh, I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm gonna go for a wee and then we're gonna go out to the cinema. So let you know what we think of the film after. Everyone's been raving about it, so I've got very high expectations. Feel the rain on your skin. We've just gone out to the cinema. Opinions. It's a good film. Oh, I very just dropped the camera. Watch and a funny watch. Yeah, it was it was great. Everyone's raving about it and they all have good reason to be raving about it. We were laughing. I nearly cried. I could what? have cried. I think if I let my emotions flow, I could have cried. When? When she was upset. But yeah, 10 out of 10 must go watch. Now Aiden wants us to blare Unwritten to sing along because that's like, that's the, uh, that's the song of the film. The end credits were so funny. Yeah. It was like what you were about to say. Yeah, you have to stay for them. Good morning guys, as I'm sure you can tell from the hot water bottle around my neck. My neck is still very stiff. It's definitely a lot better than it yesterday though, so fingers crossed by tomorrow it will be sorted. But Aiden got up at like quarter to five this morning because he was working away and I was meant to go with him so I could have the car so I could like go to the gym and stuff and I woke up and I was just like, I'm gonna go back to sleep. I think I'll give the gym a miss. I mean the car is at his work so if I wanted to I could go pick it up but I think I'm okay with just doing a couple of home workouts over the next couple of days and then when he's back I can go to the gym first thing in the morning. So that is the update on my neck but it is Monday and I need to start getting productive. Like I feel like last week was a good warm up week to January but I wasn't very productive. Like I wasn't doing a lot in my free time. So that's something that I wanna work on today. We can go through my to-do list together, but I'm gonna start off the morning with a hot water bottle on my neck, a coffee, some reading, and maybe a little bit of YouTube and just have a chilled morning, do a workout, and then we can get into the productivity because Aiden's not here today. So I can basically just work all evening. I was literally about to come here and be like, oh my God, guys, it's snowing, but um, it's actually hailing. <laughs> I honestly thought, I feel like it's a bit of a, no, I actually think it's definitely just hailing. I was about to get so excited, but no. is all done and dusted. I actually love my home workouts. Like, don't get me wrong, I never end up like sweating profusely like I do at the gym. Cause at the gym, I feel like I focus more on cardio whilst when I'm at home, I don't wanna like jump about and make a load of noise. So I focus more on like strength and toning and I make it very dance based because I think as a dancer, it's good to do workouts that obviously help with dancing and I'm also such a visual person when it comes to working out like let me know what you guys do do you listen to music do you listen to podcasts do you watch YouTube videos because I'm a watch podcasts videos and watch YouTube videos kind of gal and I was just watching Jess's Sweden vlog Jess has just been traveling with her boyfriend Jasper and I've absolutely loved hearing about their travels but I also love watching her videos even though I already know what she's been doing and it's honestly making me so excited to go to Australia I know Sweden I Australia are like two very different things but they went to Australia so I think I'm actually I'm gonna sound like a fangirl but I'm gonna go re-watch their Australia vlogs even though they went to more like the south east coast of Australia and we're going to the north east coast but I do need to ask you guys one thing because it's actually making me so anxious that I can't even cope 
we've booked to go skydiving and I've always said to myself like I'm gonna go skydiving one day duh, 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 duh. but now it's like actually booked I'm so scared and I'm contemplating cancelling like Aiden's still gonna do it but I'm just so scared and it's gonna be like over the Whit Sundays and we're meant to land on a beach and <sighs> I just don't know if I should do it I'm so scared but then also I don't know if I'll get there and then be like oh I wish that I was doing it but then I'm gonna get there and then be like I ain't doing this so yeah let me know if you guys would go skydiving or not because I don't know part of me is like just keep it booked and on the day if I decide not to I'll just take the L you know I'll just miss out on the money and not do it which I think is probably the smartest decision but it is now 10 55 I'm gonna go grab some breakfast and make myself some porridge the only two breakfasts I ever eat is either chocolate porridge and strawberries or a bagel so I'm gonna go have that and then we can look through my to-do list of things that I plan to do today which I feel like I'm not gonna do because it's me I'm pretty lazy recently. One thing you should know about me is anytime that I'm done doing something that involves me putting on tight clothes, makeup, doing my hair, as soon as I'm done, I am getting out of those clothes into my tracksuit and taking off my makeup. So this is the outfit of the day. But let's have a look at what I have planned for myself to do today. So it is saying a TikTok vlog the day. I haven't been doing that. And I need to film two hairstyles, which I actually think I will do later on this evening. I've switched to doing everything on my laptop now. I used to plan my whole days on my iPad using GoodNotes. And I had like, I had a whole thing going on. Like I had this like monthly and weekly planner. You can't even see. This is from December. So you guys can see this. And it's very cute and it's very aesthetic and it looks lovely. But it's so fiddly to do and I'm such a neat freak that I would have to type out everything on my iPad because my handwriting was just not cutting it and I actually think it's so much easier to just navigate on my laptop. So I need to think about some hairstyles that I can do with straight hair because I'd rather not put any heat on my hair. And then I want to like rejig my plans for social media for the year. You guys aren't going to believe this. I have basically got content planned up until July which is actually kind of crazy. <laughs> I don't know why I'm seven months ahead. I think I just got really excited and started to plan all of my Australia content for May and then it like fell into June and then it fell into July. And obviously I had already done January because that is the month it is. And I was like, well, we've only got February, March and April. So let's just plan those ones as well. I mean, I haven't got too much planned, but I would like to go through it all and kind of like refine it and make everything a little bit more certain. But we will have to do a TikTok vlog tomorrow now instead because I haven't vlogged this morning. I must say, I haven't been doing the most productive things recently in terms of work. Like I still haven't been through the whole like, what's it called? Schedule. Thing, content plan but maybe I'll do that tonight when I'm in bed and have nothing better to do but one thing I have been doing is applying for auditions I feel like I kind of like manifested it because I mentioned it today how I was applying for auditions and I had one come through but it was a commercial audition like they didn't say it when I applied so I asked and they said commercial I said I will not be attending and then there was just another one for a showgirl company so I've applied for that and obviously waiting to hear back so fingers crossed I can start to get some replies. I think I've applied for like five auditions recently, so it'd be nice to get one and attend. But I'm just deciding what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight. I think I might have a fish finger wrap because there's like not much food in the house. My mum is gonna go out shopping tomorrow, so I need to write her little list of bits and bobs that I want. So I need to meal plan, but it's like coming up to 5 30, so I think I'm gonna go make some dinner now. I've just been folding up my washing and I've just seen that Meg, I've seen her on TikTok tiktok before she has like really nice aesthetic tiktoks and i've just found out she has a youtube channel and i have a feeling that this is gonna make me feel really bad about my own youtube channel but i'm gonna enjoy watching it i mean the fact that she's shopping in whole foods this girl has money i shop in like little but i think i'm gonna enjoy this but i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here i feel like i filmed two vlogs this weekend and i've just been editing them and they are so boring, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. So, with that being said, my next vlog, I promise, is going to be so much more exciting 
And I'm actually going to vlog when I do things and putting it out there so I have to do it. But thanks for hanging around. If you did, I hope you did enjoy it. And I will see you all very soon in a new video. Bye.